Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So yeah, just me on my own at the moment, but we're gonna go pick up Els very, very shortly. So if you're new here, me and Els are in a long distance relationship. She lives in Hampshire, I live in Newquay. So I'm gonna pick her up from the train station. It's a long story while she's, why she's actually getting the train and not driving, but I'm picking up the train station from Exeter. So that's about an hour away from here. Do that just purely because I don't know if any of you up country have ever tried to get a train into Newquay. It's an absolute nightmare. There's like three or four changes. It takes about six hours and it's about a hundred quid. So it's not very easy to do so. Um, it works out better for us. Our, the easiest route is going to Exeter. It's like 30 odd quid. It's only a two hour train journey. I drive an hour, the price difference, time difference, it all just works out better in Exeter. But if you have any other suggestions on public transport to get to Newquay in the cheapest, fastest way, let us know in the comments because that would be oh so helpful. So yeah, in perfect Luke fashion, I've left everything to the last minute. So she's gonna be on the train in about an hour. That gives me two hours well probably only actually one hour because then i need to drive I haven't got anything ready for her. i haven't tied my room or anything like that that would just be way too sensible um and i'm just about to go for a surf now quickly so the surf is pretty horrendous um but gotta get that training in i'm gonna actually set up a little something in my room for her to walk into because els has got a business called lula collections just makes little beaded jewelry really cute really funky stuff She's done her summer collection launch today. She worked so, so, so hard and it stayed up till goodness know what time, like for the last countless nights, literally getting three hours sleep each night and then don't know what she needed to do working on that. And yeah, she'd been working so hard and then it finally dropped and it did so well. She got so many sales like in the first like couple of hours. So honestly, like, yeah, just super proud of her. So I just want to celebrate that a little bit. Um, give her something to walk into to, say how proud I am of her. See how cringe is that? Ugh. Um, but yeah, anyway, like I said, haven't left myself much time, so it's not gonna be that exciting, but um, yeah, I'm gonna jump in the sea quickly now. Yeah, I just got out of the sea. You know what? That was actually really, really fun. I felt like in surfing, whenever you lower your expectations, expect it to be actually really bad. It's actually really fun. Just because you do anything like half decent, you're like, oh my God, that was actually pretty, really good. And you know what? That's a life lesson. Lower your expectations and you'll always be happy. Boom. First time ever. Elle's being late has actually really, really helped me. Um, so she's actually now getting a later train, which gives me more time. Uh, so time, it's still going to be pushed, but it's not going to be anywhere near as bad. Uh, so we should be good. Just got out of the shops. Wow. Oh, that was unbelievably frustrating. You just, you know, oh, oh, day comes around. Just, oh, I never shop midday. I just remind myself why, I guess. Um, that was ridiculous. Everyone was everywhere. Then no one ever gives you any room. It's just all a nightmare. I wonder why COVID's so high in Newquay. That is why. That was ridiculous in there. But anyway, ran over. We got out. We got what we needed to do. It took a lot longer than what I needed. Uh, or not what I needed, what than what it should have. So haven't got a lot of time so we're gonna quickly whiz through what we got her not necessarily her us and then um we'll crack on and get it all set up and then go pick her up so first things first now me and I was really aren't much drinkers we do drink occasionally but not a lot but what i've got are these things you can get well multiple of them like genuinely like quite a few of these things here. So, I don't know if you know what they are. You can get mix and match, like the little cocktail cans. They're, oh, they're so nice. Me and Elle absolutely love them. We always get them whenever we like actually drink together. But yeah, and there was new, like fancier ones, three for five pounds. And there was a, the, what we always go for, four for four pounds, five pounds, something like that. And then, so I got one of each. So we got seven in total, which is an odd number. Stupid to do when two of us are drinking, but one of us will get more drunk than the other. Elle's is really, really difficult to buy for as well. Cause she's not like, especially when celebrating normally, like for me, I've got a sweet tooth, buy me a cake, buy me the most disgusting, horrendously sweet thing in there. And I would love it. Like easy peasy. Elle's is a bit more of a, strawberries and raspberries kind of girl which leads me on to the next thing i got her strawberries and raspberries so strawberries and raspberries not just strawberries and raspberries now gone for the classic white chocolate button because i thought 
instead of milk chocolate to dip in the strawberries, let's melt some white chocolate, dip them in there. She also does love white chocolate button, so ugh, just a win-win with that one. But I did get some classic milk chocolate buttons just in case as well. Now she requested what's it for the drive back. Really annoying though. You know you can get the giant what's it's that's what I wanted, but they were all sold out. So annoying. They had the flaming hot ones, but pff, let's be honest, who actually gets the flaming hot ones? We all want the original. Only stock more of the original. Please, thank you very much. Then got her favorite yogurt because we will have that for breakfast with the leftover strawberries. I've got bananas at home. So that will be really nice. For tonight's dinner, we are either going to stop off at McDonald's and get a cheeky little McDonald's. So remember in the last video, I think we said we didn't have that many McDonald's very often. Yeah, we're getting another McDonald's. It's going to turn into another McDonald's thing. Only if they've got chicken select. So we're not watch the last video for that a long rant on chicken selects if they haven't got chicken selects then we will go for tortellini i call it tortellini els calls it ravioli in the comments right now please 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 not many people comment on our videos but this is genuinely something like stop right now comment what would you call these pasta things these little like they hold little flavorsome in there please 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 comment that and settle the debate on this because I call it tortellini, she calls it ravioli. Oh, well, I hope you've already commented. And if you comment to tortellini, then you are right because you see that it says fresh tortellini. Your boy's right. What else did I get her? Oh, I got her this funky, cool little mug. It's not the nicest, but it's really cool shaped. I don't know if you can see it. Els loves like cool shaped mugs, and so do I. Yeah, I just wanted to give her a little special mug for for the home so she can have a cup of teas in so uh i'll put that in there oh and the other thing i got her was some flowers look at that um i'm not to be honest again ours is really difficult like i said ours is quite difficult to buy for she's not just you just have to put thought into it basically so when i say she's difficult to buy for it's just not stupidly easy that you can't put any thought in which is just just normal on it i don't know if she's gonna like them but I like them, so if she doesn't have them, I'm gonna have them, is the way I looked at that. And I thought, yeah, you know what, that's happening. I've literally got like an hour to get everything ready, and yeah. It's not looking too bad. So yeah, that is all done. She's gonna walk in and see that straight away. Excuse the room, it's very messy, disgusting. We live in a factory, basically. Duh. Ask if you wanna know, if you don't, I won't tell you. <laughs> so all that's left to do now is tidy my car quickly, I literally got to leave in about 20 minutes, so I've only got 20 minutes to turn my car, but my car's an absolute mess, and then we'll be on the road. All right, Ooh, we're on our way. Car is not clean at all. Gonna get a bollock in. Ah, oh, well, it'll be funny. Sorry about the road noise and everything like that, but yeah, we're, we're on our way. Yeah, I literally, I didn't even have time to shower, so it's so gross, but we are where we are, you know? That, that's the situation we're in. At least you get to see me, at least we got that little nice little treat thing whatever you want to call it ready yeah the road noise is rubbish the windscreen wipes is annoying just got here about seven more minutes until she arrives and obviously she's got to come through and then yeah good to see her something else i did i forgot to tell you about so i els loves teas obviously if you if you don't know els loves teas you obviously haven't watched the other videos go watch them now els loves a tea but she's very specific with the temperature of the tea and it has to be at, I say specific, it just can't get too cold. She really can't drink teas cold. So I try to bring it in a flask. I've left it closed this whole journey. I'm too scared to open it because I don't want to open it and let all the heat out. I'm not going to lie, I'm not very hopeful. I don't think it's going to be hot enough, but it's a thought that counts, right? Hello, so I've actually found a sick place for the phone. I'll keep it recording to see how long it takes her to notice. She's coming. It was okay though. No, it was not good. So, so what's it? And then I've tried to keep this warm. Hi! <laughs> oh, she noticed it pretty quickly. I just noticed <laughs> it. Was, obviously wasn't that good of a hiding place. <gasps> right. It might be it might be too hot. I think it's gonna be too cold, okay. but I've I said you might flip if it It's perfect. But it's not a good cup of tea. 
<laughs> I'm joking, it's actually perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah? It's so thoughtful. And it's okay temperature? Mmm. Oh, it did good, I did so, good. Oh, it's so nice to be back together. I'm so hungry. Honestly. So I wanted to get the giant Watsits again. And in Morrison went there and they only had the really the flaming hot ones. And I thought, gross, yeah. who would want the flaming hot ones? No. Do you know what do you know what that face is for? They didn't have any chicken selects again. And this time we're in UK. Yeah, so we found out it's a nationwide problem. So I saw problem. 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 It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a nation. No, it's it's a bigger, so, bigger issue. But I think I think there's some dodgy gang shit going on. Someone calling <laughs> the ransom. They're going right. You're not getting chicken steaks because think about it, they're in everything. That like they're in like their chicken burgers and. Oh, hang on, ketchup. We ordered yeah. six chicken nuggets because we felt like we couldn't just drive on through yeah, and just go. Drive uh, on through and drive yeah, so we're gonna have tortellini instead or ravioli. Let us know in the comments. And there's a policeman behind us. Yeah, he's probably arresting someone because of, they don't have any chicken legs. <laughs> it's crime. Um, it's criminal. Yeah. Look, he just got me a flower that I'm going to press. I can't believe you video me doing this. Oh, wow. It's all tidy. It's all tidy. Have you still not made your bed? Make in front of you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> she, legit, she legit did not see that. Hang on, I'll show you how obvious it is. Yeah, ignore the room. We walked in and she was like, oh, it's tidy. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice! What the hell? What's my favourite things in the world? A mug for me! Yeah. I Do you know how much I love that? I told you. I said, Oh my only, god, it's wonky as well. The only thing I didn't like so much was the colour, but. No, I love it. I okay. honestly, honestly, I love that so much. Well, we did good. Oh, my favourite things ever. Thank you. Oh, I can't get it. I got it, I got it. A bit high. Ooh, that was close. Cheers. Oh, 500 pounds. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Why have we got that? Five hundred pounds. Watermelon, sugar, hi. Mm. Al's back. We'll not be drinking either of those drinks. Oh, <laughs> not what I was expecting. Tastes like um, rhubarb and custard, custard sweets. sweets. I quite like that actually, and uh, that one's not good. Having our dinner next to the only window in this place. It's very yummy. Um, only thing I would say is we should have got some fresh salad. We've got frozen kale for our veggies, which is fine. At least we're getting them in. You eat like an animal. You are completely right. <laughs> we are complete losers. We are. I mean, look at the cocktails that we should be <clears throat> drinking right now. <laughs> Even the chocolate and the sweets. Yeah, so we literally had one cocktail and was like, you know what, so tired, just gonna get in bed. No, and go but to bed. I, I'm gonna justify this because I feel like I need to. Yesterday, I got up at five on Sunday and I didn't go to bed till half one and then I got up at six, half yeah, six. Yeah, you've done a lot of late night, early I mornings. Am absolutely shattered. Yeah. Um, the new collection did well, so well. We're gonna sign off, go to bed now. Yeah, yeah, so we'll see you bright and early in the morning. 6 40, I wanna try and sleep with my sleep pattern. So if we go to bed now, hopefully it will be. Yeah. I'm so such a weirdo in my sleep, but. It's good, you need your sleep. I mean, you need your sleep. Listen pattern. to a podcast on that today, you need your sleep. <laughs> right, anyway. Night. Good See night. You in the morning. See you guys in the morning. Good, Good morning. morning. So it's obviously six thirty. Uh, we did get up at our usual time, uh, <laughs> and we've been very productive. Just joking. Quarter past nine. Quarter past nine. I did get up at twenty to seven, but I just thought, what's the point? I didn't even hear the alarm. I no, was like, why didn't you wake me up? Of course you didn't. Of course you didn't. I genuinely didn't. Mm. Oh, look at my hair. Wow. Got yeah, getting that cut off. Don't get it all cut off. Just all of it. it? No, just a bit. Like, I just think just like a trim of your fluffy You're going to get a mullet. Don't get a mullet. Don't, Don't get, get a, a mullet. mullet. Yeah, that's been the situation this morning. Lazy people, lazy morning. But it's really, it's been really nice to do that, though. 
yeah, no, it has been really nice, really, really nice. Now onto the cocktails and the chocolate strawberries that we missed last night. We watched Baby Surgeons last night. Yeah, so after oh, we put, so good. We vlogged, we were like, oh, so ready for bed. Uh -huh. Put on Baby Surgeons, you know, a bit of light watching before bed. <laughs> if ever you guys have seen it, that was a joke. Yeah, I loved it. It was so good, but we ended up watching the whole episode, which was like an hour. So we ended up going to bed actually quite late. Um, so if I could have any other job in the world apart from running my own business and a Lula, it would definitely be to be like a midwife or like a paediatric uh, doctor or something. But the reason that I, I've not done it is like there's two things stopping me. The reason I didn't want to be a midwife was because I love progressing. And like I know you can progress in different stages, but you can't like it's very much once you're on the ward, you're on the ward sort of thing. Probably going to get loads of hate from midwives now. Yeah. I know that you could go like private and stuff. I actually would be more interested to know because I did do like quite a bit of research on like progressing, progressing in your career as a midwife. And there wasn't like, apart from like senior midwifery and stuff, there wasn't like that much. So that's why I kind of was like, I'd love to like progress and then come back to it. Oh, I started it. I should be the vlogger here. I fashion we're running late it is a beautiful day i'll just see if i can oh you can't flip it around but I'll so as you can see it's a beautiful day so we really do need to get our beach walk in because it's not every day you get this sort of weather okay we're out a slight change of plan okay we're out um that took way longer than we thought i'm so indecisive and i think you need to buy some booze so um yeah I just panicked because there's nothing worse than like buying a shit bottle of wine and then um, like regretting it. So we've managed to get everything we needed and more and I got a ridiculously expensive sun cream because fun fact about me, I am allergic to the sun. I have a UV allergy. Shit Imagine food. having a girlfriend that's allergic to the sun. <laughs> so this is apparently well, she put this that in like a ten bio. pounds. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and it's sun allergy sensitive spray. So if that brings me out in heat wrap, I'll be pissed off. And if I need to, I'll just get some um, anti I probably should have got some as well. Yeah. Prevention and all. But yeah, all that fun stuff about going to the beach. <laughs> we'll have breakfast. We'll go for a nice beach walk. Yeah, it's now. 22, 22. <laughs> five minutes to my haircut. Um, so we're on the way there instead. And this, instead of our fruit granola, is our breakfast. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It is quite nasty. I want some. Oh, hang on. See, irresponsible. Oh no, it's fine. Ugh, you want to eat it, Elia. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. I'm now gonna have to sit in the car. You guys are gonna have to sit in the car with me. Yeah. While Luke goes for his haircut. This has been a really fun vlog, just in the car the whole time. <laughs> or in the bed. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna get my hair cut. Um, Ready? Head automation before. Cool, we call this place New Kyorka. Do you not think you would look like you were driving in Spain or something? Like, look at that building. That looks like a Spanish or like I don't know, foreign place. I just feel like it looks like a holiday resort. That's a school, by the way. Just no, a school, yeah. Context. I just think, what is it? Is it actually called? Nan's Leden. Nan's Leden, but I call it New Kyorka because you just look like you're in some sort of Spanish village. But look, even with the little things and the blue rims on the buildings, it definitely does. So, Lulu has just, Lukey Lou, Luke, whatever I want to call him, um, has just gone in for his haircut, but there's no 3G or Wi-Fi, which is good because everyone needs a digital detox. I thought, I'm going to try and read my book and then I'm going to make the granola and I'll chat to you guys because I don't want to be lonely in the car. Um, and yeah, what I was going to say is, yeah, so I was basically, when I, I said basically really weird though. Basically, basically, when I read, like I used to when I was younger, I hate reading, I'm dyslexic, so it was really hard for me. And then I got into it, and then I like, I don't know if you remember the like 
let me know if you do but there was this series of books called like animal ark and it was like pony in the porch duck in the something beginning with d duck in the oh, duck in the dungeon or duck in the dark it's probably be like duck in the dark um and like i really love those and then they really got me into reading and then i discovered like jacqueline and wilson and my mum used to hate it because she was like i don't think you should be reading about all this stuff and like obviously it's like my drama my passion for shit tv and drama like mum and dad are divorced one of them's having an affair and cheating on the other one mum was like you're like seven you shouldn't be reading this and i was like it's fine i like it it's chill that really got me into reading and then when i got older i kind of just stopped which is really bad and i think it's because like when you like obviously when you're older you have to prioritize your own life you're like no one's being like read 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 and there's like not opportunities for you to read as much because you have to make the time and i just don't make the time and like when i get into bed i'm so honestly i'm so tired that reading i find it tiring which is probably good but i want to read the book and i feel like because i'm so tired i'm forcing myself to read so i'm like you just need to get through a page so i'm not actually taking in what's being said and then equally when i'm like in a scenario like this because i'm so my brain's so flitty i literally just don't i can't concentrate but i'm going to try and train myself to because it's really bloody annoying like i really want to be able to just sit down and read my book and like be that person where they're like whoa they're actually reading like a real book like they must be really intelligent and i'm just here like oh, a bird a seagull oh what's that person doing oh look at that color house oh look at that look at that even on the way here like luke was talking to me and like there was a car in front of us i actually think this is really dumb basically they had like two dog stickers on the back firstly that's horrendous but we'll move on from that um oh no i wanted to use this spoon because it's funkier see compared to this spoon which is just standard see i even got distracted then what is wrong with me a lot actually a lot is wrong with me anyway um i'm gonna try and peel strawberries in this room this these dogs like they were like stickers one of them they were exactly the same like side by side if you just looked at them once you think they're exactly the same but it was a spot difference so like one had white like a tiny little white paw and then one had like a stripe down its face and the other one had like a stripe bigger stripe on its neck then one had a dot here and the other one had like two dots and i was like if i was driving i would have just been staring going to spot the difference at these dogs and i like wouldn't have been concentrating on where i was going so i was like that's a driving hazard actually don't think that should be allowed but i can't remember what i was saying before that i don't know why i even said that what was i talking about me getting distracted i think i was talking about me reading so anyway coming back to the topic if you haven't tried this granola by the way it is goals um i really like the dried raisins in it which is really weird but i just really do they're like chewy like when you're in bed and you're like this you're like oh so much effort and then you have to be like oh i like it's just so much harder whereas if you're just holding a kindle and ignore this pretend this side isn't here you're obviously just like this so it's so much easier now i don't even know what page i was on actually quite nice reading here so oh uh i'm gonna stop chatting shit because i feel like everyone's gonna be bored of me in my chaotic life and i'm gonna eat my granola see right wait for it to go around the roundabout it's purple and sparkly oh no the car is broken what is wrong with the car look at that Fun um so yeah basically all i was saying when i said i was gonna end the video and i started talking about luke's hair was i just hope it's not like too short because i really like it when it's longer i like boys generally with longer hair i've never been like a short short hair kind of girl i used to and i actually still do love it when luke's long last put it in a man bun i think but i don't i really don't like it when it's like out here like i think that just looks really unattractive and like really untidy like when it's all wispy and like it's just been me being really harsh and mean. Sorry, Luke, if you're ever seeing this. I do love your hair, how it is right now. Um, but, yeah, I'm not a fan of a wispy, a wispy sideburn. Okay. I'm going to read my book now. Before. After. Yeah, we're back. Hair's all done. He made me put on this white shirt, pause a video on the thing, try and get it right. He was like, you need to tell something that it looks like a pastry. I was like, no, I don't. And he's like, oh, it looks completely different. I thought, oh, maybe because we're in a completely different place. And I got different hair. And you got different hair, but it looks so nice. I have my granola. Do you want me to make yours? Oh, yes, please. Shall I drive first, though? 
Yeah, I can serve it to you anyway. I was telling Luke we saw that really cool purple car. It's got a big one. Why oh, is that funny? Just because it's so you. <laughs> oh no! I've brought the bottle of yogurt everywhere, Luke! <laughs> We're not going to go to here because the fucking no! sun The strawberry yogurt is everywhere! <laughs> oh, mate! Yogurt will stink in the car. Hairs on it. Oh no. Throw out the window. This is all going wrong, guys. All going wrong. Hell. We've had. <laughs> We've had an absolute mare. We've had a shitter of, <laughs> of a 10 minutes. Look at the size of that bowl. What a nightmare. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> oh, we're on our way. At least it's mixed though now. Look, looking for the positives in the negative situation. Okay, have some nice rabbits can have them. <laughs> Look at the state of the car. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> or should I spin around and go a different way? Nah, bub. Let's stick with this. Is your uh, car mix? Well, actually, it's uh, always got to look on the positives of life. We're in traffic. It's not now illegal to eat granola, right? It's not, it's not in a driving handbook. So there's an accident and... Um, I want to keep, no, I want to go forward. We're not going forward, are you? I want to turn around. Oh, I want to see if we can help them. Bub. Everyone's turning around apparently, so we have to turn around. <laughs> Such a fun spoiler. Bye. Look, but what if we seriously could help them? Or what if it's like a cow giving birth or something? In a quarter of a mile, use the roundabout to make a U-turn. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Such a nightmare of a morning. What do you think about it? Right. Up. <laughs> Up the granola. You need to lick the thing. No, I don't. It's gonna fall. No, it right. We let, should we summarise how shit this morning has been? A bit morning of a nightmare. Bit Meant to wake up at. Bit morning of a nightmare. Bit of a nightmare of a morning. <laughs> Meant to wake up at seven. Didn't happen. Woke up at like what nine. Nine. We're lying. We were meant to go for a beach walk. That didn't happen. Then, oh my god, it's telling me to go that way. Sat nav is really getting me angry. <laughs> then, ended up going to Morrison's to get a few bits. That took way longer than we wanted it to. You can stay there, mister. Thank you very much. Um, wanted, wanted to go to Morrison's, then go on a beach walk. That didn't happen. I had to go straight to my haircut. Got my haircut. Good haircut, though. Decent. Yeah. That's a positive. Then, Went to make me some breakfast, it spilled all over the car, out the door, and then there was an accident, so we're now stuck in traffic. We're not stuck in traffic, we're moving forward. We're now moving forward though. Look, you can see my hair. I can't think of it. Getting it cut short to here again. Or do I keep it long? Definitely keep it long. You think? Yeah. I used to have it short a couple of years ago, I guess it. This side. Right, I want to eat my breakfast and then we'll we'll do just a game. Have a breather and then we'll. Yeah, and then we'll get back to you. Yeah. So, we thought while we've got this last bit of the journey, we may as well do something entertaining. And um, we thought we might do a couple's quiz questions that you should, your partner should know. Really not, what's the word I'm looking for? Really not cringe at all. So, Bubs, you ready for the first question? It's really hard. Yeah. What is your partner's favourite TV show? Gogglebox. Yes. Or? The baby surgeon thing now. Yeah, or? Begins with This Is Us. This okay, Is this Us. Is us. <laughs> and I have the prime if you haven't seen it, it's so good. And The Last Tango in Halifax, I love that. Okay. Wait, what's mine? Your favourite, uh, you like watching Gogglebox with me? Because she um, says so. You know, you do like watching it. Uh, and you liked that. You don't actually have one favourite thing because you watched lots of different series, but the last thing you were watching was that um, thing beginning with S. Was it like, it wasn't Suits, it was like Spies or what was it called? Keep going. S 
stars or think police oh survivors no surgeons S sergeants no S it's, it is a police group don't google it i'm not sir Swa. squad no Wa. squad no not the squad Swa. swords no Swa. sw swad close swaddle no you're you're one letter away Swadder. no swad d no swadder no squad <laughs> go on what was it called? swat swat oh. that was close no, look who knows who better no it's because you have a favorite one yeah no that's right what's your partner's favorite book oh oh I, I don't know if you remember I, the one I read earlier, the earlier this year, I really liked. I have no idea no. what the name is, no. My, I don't think we talk about books now because we probably should talk about What's my favourite book? Oh, it's the one I'm reading at the moment, I think. Um, four Day Week. Four Hour, four hour week. week. Same thing. Very good. And mine would it be Ghosts. What food does your partner like to cook? All foods, really? You're quite a cooker. Yeah, I love cooking. Any cooking. There's nothing particular. I just tortellini. No, that's not cooking, that's just uh, eating through. Elves does the best spag bowls ever. Yeah, I love spag bowls. Uh, that's your like go to, I guess. Yeah, signature dish. Uh, what about me? Chicken. <laughs> you love cooking chicken. <laughs> I'm so over chicken now though. Salmon. Chicken jambalaya, as you called it. Chicken jambalaya. Chicken jambalaya, chicken jambalaya. Um, Chicken korma, you like that recipe? That is a really good. nice one. But uh, to be fair, all the things I like cooking is from your recipe. Yeah, my recipe. Right, next one. What's their favourite colour? What's my favourite colour? White. Yes. Yours is like a bluey, greeny, grey colour. <laughs> but it is though. <laughs> like a bluey, grey, greeny, yellowish, purple, Red all the colours in the world colour. That's your favourite. No, you you do like a bluey. Yeah, I do. People know what I mean by that. Where did you two meet? Ah, oh, so it's a funny story. I worked at the surf shop and Luke thought, that is that is the most attractive person I've ever seen. And I was just wasn't interested. And he just kept coming up to me being like, so like just chatting to me, kind of a number, pestering me. I couldn't get rid of him. So I gave him my number and then we went on um, a walk and uh, we went on this massive romantic day. Loads of amazing gestures. It was just beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, Tinder. Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> we met on Tinder. Um, Why is it doing that? I don't remember swiping. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh. It says the music is playing. It's because we were pushing it. Do you need to stop? Oh, what the hell? Okay. So yeah, we basically met on Tinder. I don't remember swiping Luke. He, all the pictures were just of the sea. Him and what do you mean you don't remember swiping me? You saw always said that you did. I didn't say hey gorgeous, I said you're, you're gorgeous. gorgeous. Sorry, you said you're gorgeous. Massive difference. I was babysitting and I thought, this is like, roll my eyes, this could be an end to the conversation, nothing better to do, and it led to this. And I thought, with that message, it wasn't meant to be like a corny chat line, it, it was genuinely, I saw it and I was like, this is genuinely like a gorgeous girl. I didn't think she was going to reply, so I was like, well, at least she'll get a nice compliment. Take the risk. Off. Any other Tinder girls that I said that to out there, don't comment on this video. Fuck off. <laughs> Such a lot. We're in the moment. <coughs> right, anyway, what are their eye colour? What's my eye colour? Uh, a greenish, yellowish, greyish. There's no grey in them. They're called Green, greenish, yellowish. Yes, they exactly, no, it's called a name, Luke. Come on, it is an H. Hazel. Yes. Hazel green eyes. My eye colour. Your eyes are beautifully blue. My favourite thing. You've got amazing eyes. It's incredible. Right. Where did you two meet? Oh, I'm going to turn left. Where? What does your partner want their life to look like in five years' time? In five years' time, what do I want their life to look like? You are now a house. Yeah. How old will we be in five years? I will be 26. So we'll have a house with Rosie. Yeah. Maybe another doggo. Yeah. 
Um, Alula will be booming. Booming. Um, and then we'll maybe look at the 26. We'll, might might be married, you know. Yeah, might be married. Might be. Who knows? Um, there will definitely be a ring on it though. Will there? Yes, there will be. Oh god, that's that's is all you think. I, all I want to do is get a house and have enough job. That's all you and, do want to do. And be boobs. That's all you think I want to do. Yeah. What are we? Yeah, but we're not. I'm not gonna go. What do you? Where do you want to be in five years? You don't go through the whole of what you've no, done you in those like five years. Traveling a lot. Going out, seeing friends a lot on the weekends. That's not a thing. Surfing is even When you improved. think to your aspirations in life, you don't go, I hope I'm going to see my mate on Saturday. Yes, you do. <laughs> you don't. I want to have like a fun social life on the weekends. Like, oh. good group of company friends or whatever. Like, going here, there, everywhere on the plane. How can we go? We can't do that when we got Rosie. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. I want to be Rosie. <laughs> I, I changed my mind, I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh, Bub, it's done it again. What do you want me to do? Sorry guys, um, Luke's phone has run out of storage. Probably because we keep starting to talk of videos, it's all going wrong. And all of that. Um, but we're going to end the video here just because we're pretty rushed for time. Um, and right. we don't want to have a, to be stressed about not ending this vlog. So. Sorry for the chaos, uh, chaos, city. chaos, chaos. Ch just the chaos. <laughs> Catastrophe. No. no, just the chaos. Um, but it's just a true representation of what we do. Oh, I'm so sarcastic on the daily. Um, sorry, Mr. Turning. <laughs> this is all going wrong, really badly. Uh, but yeah, we'll quickly do an outro. Thanks for watching. Make sure you turn your noties on. Make sure you like, subscribe. Noties? Yeah, notifications. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Sorry, carry on. Stop! That's what people call them, their noties. No, they don't. Turn your notifications on because I'm not allowed to say noties. Turn your notices on. Yeah, please subscribe. Comment. Like. We will see you.